Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for all the support. Now, the topic the other day for the Miami Heat on ESPN was, are the Miami Heat fools gold? And I will say, shout out to Joy Taylor, because she legit put some respect on the Miami Heat, because how are the Miami Heat fools gold when we're about to go back to the Eastern Conference Finals? I will say, no one expected us to be here. We were terrible during the regular season. Then we had to play the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round where everybody counted us out, even me. So I'm not going to sit up here and say that the Miami Heat, you know, we were the championship favorites from the beginning. No, but the Miami Heat are clearly playing well. Eric Spolstra is definitely doing a great coaching job and the role players are definitely rolling. So how could the Miami Heat be fool's gold when we're about to go back to another Eastern Conference Finals? Since Jimmy Butler joined the Miami Heat, we've been to three Eastern Conference Finals and one NBA Finals. How is that fool's gold? Once again, this is continued disrespect by ESPN and and ESPN reporters. And to think that you would, I mean, you would think that these guys would know basketball. Why? Because they get paid millions of dollars, you know, to study the game, to study everything about the game, and to actually talk about true basketball. And they refuse to do it. You have Tim Ledger saying that the Miami Heat had an easy path to the Eastern Conference Finals. How? When we lost... Tyler Hero and Victor Oladipo. You have Jalen Rose blaming the Miami weather on, oh, well, the Knicks are playing terrible because of the weather and it's so hot. You have Mike Greenberg that doubled down on that take as well, saying that the heat is zapping the New York Knicks' energy. You have J.J. Redick saying that the Miami Heat are not a threat when we're about to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. It makes absolutely no sense what's going on. And like I said, it's different if it was just about clicks, but think about it. These guys are creating narratives that don't even make sense and that have nothing to do about the game of basketball. That is why I have a problem. So shout out for Joy Taylor because she put some respect on the Miami Heat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.